This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by Ground News. In just a minute, I'm going to talk about their app and their fantastic news blind spot feature. But before I get to that, I want to talk a little bit about today's topic um, in a preparatory fashion, if you will. Uh, Bill Cosby yesterday was released from prison. Uh, he was not found innocent. His conviction was overturned on constitutional grounds by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Bill Cosby has been accused, credibly accused, by 60, 60 women. Two to three times more women have accused Bill Cosby than accused Donald Trump. It is a staggering uh, series of accusations against a man who holds or held um, a very unique position in American culture as a public moralist who advocated uh, that that young black men pull up their pants and uh, all all of the all, all of the, the the sound clips you've heard of of Bill Cosby being righteously indignant about black culture and American culture generally, and then we find out that over the course of decades, he has these uh, disgusting allegations, serious allegations against him of being a, a serial sexual assaulter of women, who many of them he drugged for the purposes of sex. I'm going to talk about why were we are where we are a little bit about, because it's very convoluted about why it was overturned. Again, he's not found innocent. Uh, and about his deposition that was given a few years ago where he admitted to drugging women for the purposes of sex with his own mouth. Anyway, before I get to that, here's a word from today's sponsor, Ground News. Whether or not you're aware of it, News outlets and advertisers alike financially benefit from serving you partisan, sensational stories to keep you coming back for more. Social media platforms encapsulate you in bias, forcing both ads and content upon you based on your personal information and prejudices. Where can you go to see through all of the slant and spin in the news, you may ask? For several months now, my answer has been Ground News. They are a completely apolitical news comparison platform, perfect for anyone willing to open up their eyes to the spectrum of viewpoints on a given topic. Referencing an immense library of over 50,000 outlets, Ground News gives you every possible facet of a particular story. What better way to see the whole of a topic than to look at all sides of it? Click on the link in my description below, ground.news slash dollamore, to download the free Ground News app and explore. Using their news blind spot feature, you will see who is covering what stories and who isn't. It allows you to encounter news that might not otherwise come up in your feed or in your go-to news sites. And Ground News is founded by a NASA engineer, so you can only imagine the attention to detail that has gone into their framework. Ground News is here to level the news playing field by giving you all the angles, not just cater to your biases. Join me by clicking on the description in the link below, ground.news slash dollamore, download the free Ground News app, and see what the future of news looks like. All right, let's get into this. First, I want to talk about why we are where we are. Who was so incompetent that they allowed this to take place through their, their, their um, negligence on the job. If you've heard the name Bruce Castor and it rings a bell, well, Bruce Castor is at the heart of this. He, is the, he was the district attorney in that municipality in 2008 when Andrea Constan, who was one of uh, Bill Cosby's victims, when it came around. And if that name and this face of Bruce Castor seems familiar to you, you're not sure why. It's because of this. Uh, Mr. President and uh, members of the United States Senate, thank you for taking the time to hear from me. My name is Bruce Castor. I am the lead prosecutor, lead uh, 
counsel for the 45th President of the United States. I was an assistant DA for such a long time, I keep saying prosecutor, but I do understand the difference, Mr. Reskin. <laughs> that is Bruce Castor, former defense attorney in the impeachment trial in the United States Senate of Donald Trump. He represented Donald Trump and got panned for his performance because he was an oaf. He was terrible at his job. It was only because of the duplicity of the Republicans in the Senate that he came out victorious in his job. But he botched this case. And I'm going to read from this, this Vox article that really summarizes exactly where we are and why we are where we are related to the uh, vacated conviction of Bill Cosby. Vox, uh, the court decision freeing Bill Cosby explained as best we can. The court decision freeing Bill Cosby is a train wreck. It's also probably correct. The thrust of that opinion is that even though then Montgomery County District Attorney Bruce Castor never reached a formal agreement with Cosby that granted him immunity from prosecution, a press release that Castor sent out in 2005 combined with Cosby's later incriminating testimony in a civil lawsuit had the same effect as a formal immunity deal. So what happened was, because we have a, a right under the Constitution, a right that is protected by, not granted by the Constitution, of uh, freedom from self-incrimination. You can't be forced to testify against yourself if it will incriminate you. That's why people say, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. That's the Fifth Amendment. And in the criminal trial, uh, the probe, he wasn't um, forced to testify against himself. Castor suggested to Andrea Constant that they they take him to civil court, that she take Bill Cosby to civil court. Well, the same rules apply. He wouldn't be forced to testify against himself if it would incriminate him. So Bruce Castor offered Bill Cosby an immunity deal, an immunity deal that was never actually penned. It was never actually put to pen and paper, but because he released a, 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 a slapshod jackass uh, press release about it, coupled with the fact that then Bill Cosby actually testified and never invoked the Fifth Amendment, because of that, the, the conviction is, is vacated. Um, I'm going to read this, th this paragraph. I just covered a bunch of stuff I was going to read, so I'm just going to fish around here and, and figure out what's mo most important. Under the Fifth Amendment, no one can be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against themselves, himself. But if a potential criminal defendant is given immunity from prosecution, then they may be compelled to testify against themselves in a civil trial, because then criminality and criminal charges are off the table. So, as Castor later explained, he decided that Mr. Cosby would not be prosecuted no matter what, thinking Constand would have a better shot at justice in civil court. With the threat of prosecution removed, that then made it so that Cosby could not take the Fifth Amendment ever as a matter of law. But Castor never reached a formal immunity agreement with Cosby, and Pennsylvania law typically requires a district attorney to, quote, request an immunity order from any judge of a designated court before such an agreement is finalized. Constand, the victim filed a civil suit against Cosby, which she eventually settled for $3.38 million, but Cosby and Castor didn't reach a formal immunity agreement during the year and a half while his case was being litigated either. And here is the problem for me. During that suit, Cosby sat for four depositions and testified about his interactions with Constan. He also admitted that in the past, he'd given quaaludes, a sedative drug, to women, plural. He had given quaaludes to more than one woman with whom he wanted to have sex. Bill Cosby incriminated himself by admitting to drugging and raping women. with his own mouth, in sworn testimony. And now he is off on a technicality because a pro-Trump incompetent allowed it to be so. That is where we stand. 
This is not, listen, it, I believe that there is probably some merit to the decision here that prosecutors need to be held to a higher standard. But uh, justice is not served because the victim, Bill Cosby's victim, is now again victimized by the system, by the incompetence of Bruce Castor. I'd love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714 576 4054. Again, a little slower, 714 576 4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you. This is a very tough case. And watching Bill Cosby leave the court, uh, leave the jail yesterday doing his fat Albert, or hey, 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 as disrespectful as anyone could be to their victims, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of victims. Follow me on social media. I would appreciate connecting with you there. That would be great. Consider supporting my work for as little as $2 a month. You can click the join button down below the video there. See what's entailed and um, help produce my show. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I love you. I appreciate you. Until next time, be genuine. Take care of one another.